Alberto Cato. I'm Mike Minelli and I'm the Chief Executive for Bernardo's. Um, and I have got a big smile on my face because today is simply amazing and I'm tempted to throw my speech away and just keep repeating that. <laughs> um, but look, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to speak and I'm doing so wearing two hats as the CEO and NGOs involved in the original claim and as a very proud registered social worker. Um, as the CE, my heart sank three years ago when the claim letter arrived um, and the start formality of that letter was confronting, and I'll read the bit to you. This letter constitutes notice that our social work members who you employ are making a claim to the effect that as an employer you have failed to ensure there is no differentiation between the rates of remuneration offered and afforded by you to social workers but than the rate of remuneration that you would pay to male employees. So in about five minutes I went from risk, what's the risk to Bernardo's, bloody hell that's our reputation, who dares thinks that we might do that, uh, and, and then trying to think about how can we possibly afford it. Um, and, and thinking this is going to be a lot of hard work and right now this is the last thing we need. Um, but today, three years on, I feel absolutely proud of what's been achieved and I feel really privileged that both Bernardo's and, and I have had the opportunity to be involved in what's been a tremendous piece of work. This is so much more uh, than putting money in people's pockets and dealing to a long-standing gender pay gap and they are both absolutely worthy in themselves and the achievement is absolutely amazing. And I could stop there, but there is more. Right? And it is more because this is simply life-changing for our staff, and Pani has referred to that. No longer will I have social workers on their way home dropping food parcels for families they work with, and then stopping off near their own home to collect a food parcel so they can feed their families. My social workers will be able to get their teeth fixed, put shoes on their feet, and treat their kids. It's also more because when I put my social work hat on, this is game changing for the profession. It's because, and for social services work, it's because of the recognition it gives to social work, its skills, its knowledge and expertise. It's through the commitment in the settlement to provide additional funding to support social work registration, professional development to ensure that can be maintained, and supervision to maintain the quality of our work. And the children and the families we work with deserve no better they should have people who know what they're doing when they knock on their doors and go to help them. We've got a workforce that's strong. This gives the opportunity to make this stronger and better. It's game changing for the NGO social sector workforce as a whole. We've been the poor cousins of Oranga Tamariki, but with salaries now matching those of Oranga Tamariki, this changes that and it actually creates a level playing field. It validates the work of the child and family NGO sector and recognises we are often dealing with the same children and families with the same challenges and the same complexities as our colleagues in Oranga Tamariki, just at different points in the process. From the very start, the five employers, and I've never been a shout out to Stan Tumaya, Nabwe Social Services, Christchurch Methodist Mission and Wellington Help, involved in the claim, we made two distinct commitments and they were really important. One was to stick together, and stick together we did. And the other, that whatever happened, the settlement had to work for the sector. Those two things are really important. And that was a goal that was shared by the PSA and SPAR. And today's announcement of the extension is the best possible acknowledgement we could hope for for that commitment. And in conjunction with our settlement, as has already been said, creates a really landmark moment. Because ultimately, this could be transformational for the Tamariki and Fano who use our services. There are a collection of tapestries out there of important initiatives. The Child Youth and Development Strategy, Oranga Tamariki Action Plan, the Arerikura, the Family Violence Action Plan, which are addressing some of RTRO's long standing social challenges. I believe with our settlement in today's announcement of the extension, it has the potential to be the thread that can weave those tapestries together. It can create a cohesive response from the sector, and Oranga Tamariki is supporting the too many Tamariki and Fana who are in need. We work, as I've said, with the same kids, the same families, just at different points in the process. Together, prevention and early help become a reality. Empowering families to be the best they can is no longer aspirational. Working to keep Rangatahi out of care and to get them back home will become the norm. And the collaboration we can model together may encourage others to emerge from some of the silos they find themselves trapped in. The outcome for the five employers and the extension of the settlement then, it's a really savvy investment in the future of Aotearoa New Zealand. And if we take the opportunity it can create, it will have long-standing intergenerational impact. The significance of what's been announced today should not be underestimated. So in closing, 
I just want to recognise the collaborative nature of the work. Now, too often in the sector, collaboration becomes clobberation. <laughs> um, but, 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 but we have worked really hard together. Right? So there are ourselves, the unions, the PSA, the uh, Public Service Commission, uh, SPA, um, it's been, and Oranga Tamariki. It has been one of the best collaborative experience I've had in a fairly long career. That is not to say it wasn't hard, right? But I have to say everything was about enabling this to happen. So the challenges from government officials were not about roadblocks, they were checkpoints along the way. It's a stunning piece of work and it's something that should be recognised. Finally, I wanted to just end with a voice of uh, one of my staff members who gave me permission to share an email they sent to me uh, once the settlement was announced. I want to express my humblest thanks for the work you all have done in the pay equity space. I know this was the result of the hard work of many people over multiple years, but if angels walk the earth, I think you all could be some of them. So a very grateful, really kind of a, a loss of words to be more eloquent. Now I know that kind of settlement sentiment was echoed from staff across the other four employers. That's for all of you today who've been involved in that, because you've got us here. Norera, tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto katoa.